Frank Salib, the track announcer here, will give us the call. It will be a one-mile race, the trot of the Breeders' Crown. It's the 10th race, the 1992 Breeders' Crown Championship for trotting horses and geldings through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and trotting in the center of the track. Out of catch-up is going to make a bid for the lead. No sex, please. Leaving alertly on the inside. Billy Joe Jim Bob is off stride on the outside. Through to be third in the early going is Speedy Fraser. Charlie Ten Hitch is fourth. And then we're back to Super Speedy. Backstreet Guy and Billy Joe Jim Bob is now back down trotting, but is seventh on the first turn. Out of catch-up has got the lead. No sex, please, is on the inside second. They're past the quarter pull. 27 and four. And here comes No Sex, Please up on the outside, readying to overtake out of catch-up. And No Sex, Please takes over in front of the grandstand. Three-eighths of a mile complete. Out of catch-up is back in second. It's a gap of six lengths. And Speedy Fraser is third. Charlie Ten Hitch is fourth. Super Speedy to the outside five. Then Backstreet Guy and Billy Joe Jim Bob. No sex, please. Completely in command. Passing the half. Out of catch-up in second. In 58 seconds flat. No sex, please. Leads them into the back stretch. Out of catch-up in second. Here comes Charlie Ten Hitch up on the outside from third. Speedy Fraser is fourth. Super Speedy outside five. Then Backstreet Guy and Billy Joe Jim Bob. Less than three-eighths of a mile to go. Charlie Ten Hitch has drawn even with no sex, please. And they're battling some on the front end. Out of catch-up, taking a pocket trip. Super Speedy on the outside fourth. Billy Joe Jim Bob is three wide and is fifth on the outside, making a substantial recovery. Three-quarters in one, 27 and one. They're on the final turn. No sex, please, is the leader at the top of the lane. Out of catch-up in the pocket, Charlie Ten Ten hitch on the outside and Billy Joe Jimbob is now on the outside fourth no sex please is trying to close it out Charlie ten hitch Billy Joe Jimbob and super speedy between trotters but it's all no sex please no sex please wins the breeders crown again 156 and four Charlie ten hitch was second out of catch up was third so it's no sex please the seven-year-old gelding by Briscoe Hanover out of the reflective way mare, Gay Ann Herbert. Won the Breeders' Crown in 1990 in the horse trot at 40 cents of the dollar last year, finished fifth, and another impressive performance tonight by No Sex Please, owned and trained by Ron Waples and bred by Earl Lennox and driven to victory by Ron Waples. So it's Waples and Waples Jr. combining for the win. Bruce, you'll see here, no sex, please, coming down the lane. And Ron Waples, of course, having driven this horse so many times, knows just what to do, has the rest of the field measured, and comes home an easy winner in the horse trot here. And as you mentioned, no sex, please. Last year, finishing fifth to Billy Joe, Jim Bob. And Billy Joe not getting the best of it, making a break in that first turn. No sex, please, picks up his second Breeders' Crown win. And that's the eighth victory for Ron Waples, as no sex, please, wins the horse and gelding trot at Mohawk Raceway. His second Breeders' Crown triumph. Well, there's a look at No Sex, Please in the money this year, 18 of 22 times, the only millionaire in the field. And he won the crown in 90, and Stan Bergstein, he did it again tonight impressively. A few years ago, uh, 20 years ago or so, Clint Hodgins, great Canadian driver, was regarded as the best money driver in the sport. When the big money is in line, another Canadian now is in that same role as Hodgins, Ron Waples. And uh, any time the big money's up, he can be there. Ronnie Gerfine, who trained uh, Charlie Tenhead, said he wished he had three or four more starts, and I could see why. That horse is coming around superbly. And here's Ron. Ron Waples from Mississauga, Ontario. Once again, No Sex Please proves that he is big in big races. Yeah, he's just a great old horse, I'll tell you. Quite a thrill. Okay, Ron, let me ask you, did you know that uh, Billy Joe Jim Bob had made a break in the first turn? Yeah, I know. I looked over when we were leaving the gate, and I seen he made a break there. I felt really bad for Murray, but that's just the way it works sometimes. And, of course, the fractions, 27 and 4, 58, 127 and 1. You got a little bit of a breather in that middle, just about a minute in the uh, two middle fractions there. We're going to take a look in just a second. 56 and 4, pretty impressive mile on a night like this, fairly cold. Let's take a look at it now as they move around the turn. Here we're turning for home, and you are pretty much in command here. 
Yeah, the old horse, he felt real good here. Uh, you know, anybody could have maybe come along and beat him, but uh, he just felt real strong and felt real good the whole way, really. Ron, it's tough for a horse to be this good for an entire year, but when you look at the numbers that No Sex Please had this year, 18 for 22 in the money, I mean, that's a remarkable achievement. I think the people deserve all the credit there. Stephanie, uh, his uh, caretaker, and uh, Ron Jr., I mean, they just do an excellent job with this horse. Now, once again, it's a Waples family tradition. A uh, great feeling. And an excellent mile tonight by No Sex Please, who turned in a great mile last week as well. Yeah, he was real good last week. Randy drove him last week and said he raced real, just excellent. It looked like he had uh, quite a bit of trot coming to the wire. He drew off by about three, four lanes. Yeah, around the turn, uh, got another little breather with him there, and uh, they had the lane. I asked him to go, and uh, he just trotted on home all on his own. Ron, congratulations on another victory, and we wish you continued success. Thank you very much. Big thrill. Ron Waples, the winning driver of No Sex Please. Here are the returning prices. No Sex Please, four dollars, two sixty, and three ten. Charlie Tenhitch was up for second, eight eighty and five thirty. Was very game for the mile because he was first over. And out of ketchup was third, eight dollars. Time of the mile, one fifty-six and four.